Nephilidia by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by David Butler From the depth of the dreamy decline of the dawn Through a notable nimbus of nebulous noonshine Pallid and pink as the palm of the flag-flower That flickers with fear of the flies as they float are the looks of our lovers that lustrously lean from a marvel of mystic miraculous moonshine these that we feel in the blood of our blushes that thicken and threaten with throbs through the throat thicken and thrill as a theatre thronged at appeal of an actor's appalled agitation fainter with fear of the fires of the future than pale with the promise of pride in the past, flushed with the famishing fullness of fever that reddens with radiance and wraith recreation, gaunt as the ghastliest of glimpses that gleam through the gloom of the gloaming when ghosts go aghast. Nay, for the nick of the tick of the time is a tremulous touch on the temples of terror strained as the sinews yet strenuous with strife of the dead who is dumb as the dust heaps of death surely no soul is it sweet as the spasm of erotic emotional exquisite error bathed in the balms of beatified bliss beatific itself by beatitude's breath surely no spirit or sense of a soul that was soft to the spirit and soul of our senses sweetens the stress of suspiring suspicion that sobs in the semblance and sound of a sigh. Only this oracle opens Olympian in mystical moods and triangular tenses. Life is the lust of a lamp for the light that is dark till the dawn of the day when we die. Mild is the murk and monotonous music of memory, melodiously mute as it may be, while the hope in the heart of a hero is bruised by the breach of men's rapiers resigned to the rod, made meek as a mother whose bosom beats bound with the bliss-bringing bulk of a balm-breathing baby as they grope through the graveyard of creeds under skies growing green at a groan for the grimness of God. Blank is the book of his bounty beholden of old, and its binding is blacker than bluer. Out of the blue into the black is the scheme of the skies, and their dews are the wine of the bloodshed of things, till the darkling desire of delight shall be free as a fawn that is freed from the fangs that pursue her, till the heartbeats of hell shall be hushed by a hymn from that hunt that has harried the kennels of kings. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.